At the start of the summer, I, along with 20 other blind individuals, took on the challenge of learning how to surf. Now, let's actually see how accessible those experiences were. But before we do that, let's check out some other water action sports we did. So we started off by wakeboarding, and I'll be honest, this did not come easy to me. I, I, I got the positioning right in the water, however, every time it came to the transition and getting actually above the water, I just messed up every time. And eventually, I kind of gave in because on my last try, the water took my GoPro. So now I'm kind of GoPro-less. But shout out to my friend Ross Miner. He's actually competing in the Paralympics in 2020 in Tokyo uh, for swimming. He's a talented swimmer, and he actually got wakeboarding down pretty easy after a few attempts. So, good for him. Following my miserable attempt at wakeboarding, I decided to take it easy with jet skiing. Have fun, man. Thank you. It reminded me a lot of snowmobiling. I took it slow and it gradually got up to 37 miles per hour thanks to the instructor who was guiding me left or right, tapping my shoulder. This activity was definitely a lot more accessible and actually quite relaxing. Following that, I went tubing. This was pretty tough, but a lot of fun. It takes a lot of upper body strength to hold on to that tube for so long, being thrown so fast. But when I did wipe out, uh, it, it hurt, but it was so worth it. I'm not gonna lie, whether you're blind or sighted, it was pretty funny hearing people just fall right off that tube and, and suffer. Now it's time for the main event, surfing. Now I have experienced swimming in the water, but now it's time to actually conquer the water, getting on top and, and keeping your form above the water as long as possible. Now by this day, I had sunburn and I was burned to a crisp and my skin really irritated me when I'm trying to put on a wetsuit. After I got into the water and I kind of chilled down a bit, it was all good, but then my eyes started really irking me from the salt water, so after finding a pair of goggles, I started off by just paddling and kind of getting comfortable with the waves. Eventually though, they wanted me to uh, get onto my knees and kind of figure out my center of balance while having extra support from my lower body. Because I have experience with longboarding, I decided to sort of transition those skills and I referenced my positioning from longboarding over to surfing and it actually worked really well. The key that I found was to find my center of balance and actually close my eyes. This way, vision was no longer a distraction for me. Well, what little vision I have. My personal advice is if you are looking into getting into surfing or trying it out, start on the wheels, start on the ground and learn how to skateboard a little bit and at least find balance on land and then make your way to the ocean. Or maybe vice versa. It might work for you a little bit differently. But that's how I personally came about making surfing accessible to me. Avoiding vision and just worrying about the motions of the ocean and listening out for if there is anyone kind of coming towards me or near me. And that's, that's really it. Vision was a distraction and other senses worked really well. Now I wanna hear from you. Leave a comment down below on what kind of activities you've done this summer or are looking forward to doing for the rest of the summer that might be accessible to you. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. If you wanna see more videos about my experiences as a person who is legally blind or how I make things accessible for myself. And uh, I also have a Patreon. You should check that out. Link down below if you wanna support me. Follow me on social media and I will see you guys next time. Bye.